bit here, but this music playing. If Deion Sanders can have it, I can have it. My own theme music. It's playing. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Coaching Done Better Live. Hold on. You'll get that when you watch the playback. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> There's you a just, big for now, you're drop. just scaring me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it Jeremy like, okay? What is that? What is that? It's a big bass drop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're in Miami. <laughs> Got to have a big bass drop in Miami. Welcome to my guest and friend, Carolyn Strauss, world-class speaker. Sure. And uh, yeah, she is. She's <laughs> world-class. In fact, uh, yeah, she's spoken all over the world. We just had a discussion about her next world globe-trotting uh Adventure. Escapade. It's an adventure. Coming up to South Africa. Yeah, I'm, I'm keynoting the Professional Speakers Association Conference of South Africa, which, by the way, is the furthest continuous place you can fly to direct from the United States. Well, you know what? Uh, it's a thousand it, miles further than Australia. I've spoken in Perth. And I've spoken that's in hard Sydney. To conceive. It's yeah, it's the furthest place that you can get from the US wow. in one flight. In one I don't flight, have to yeah. stop in Munich or And Hamburg that's from Jersey Brent. all the way yeah, to Yeah. Jersey Cape Town. To, to well, Jersey to Johannesburg and on the way oh, back Cape okay. Town to Dulles. Okay. Both of it's them. It's a thing. So Hi, everybody. Nice. Yes, just so you know, it's really far away. <laughs> really, really. Speaking so of far away, yeah. you are here in South Florida, all the way from Colorado. Yeah, I live in Colorado. I'm and based there. She's come here today because I asked her to be That's a sage advisor to the course that we, we've talked about on the show, about our Speaking Done Better course. So we have 10 people in that. So here's the thing. You can learn all the information I believe that you need on the planet <laughs> is on the internet. And now with AI... They can, it can even make it up for you if it's not on the internet. Right. AI will make it up. But there's nothing like learning from people who are actually making a living doing it. Right. There's nothing like, yeah. like the experience of being in the room with somebody and have them give you feedback on what you want to do and answer questions from what's actually happening when people are involved, you know, AI would be great if there were no people involved. <laughs> it's when humans get involved. Kind of like what I don't like about being a boss, the clients and, yes. the, and, the, and the employees. My dad used to say business would be easy if it wasn't for the people. And yeah. um, it's funny because what I do now, you know, I'm an expert on peopling. So for me to yeah. like now be dealing only with people, it's, yeah. it's well, so you know, funny. I, you know, people are a lot like AI in, in that AI is only as good as the questions you ask it. That's true too. And so with people, it's about the questions you ask and the way that you put them and in, in the way that you uh, treat them yeah. is going to, to really gauge the, the feedback and the, what you get back from the energy and, and the loyalty. So much of it is energy. I mean, one of the things that, that we got to remember as humans, which AI doesn't have. So this is why robots will never replace Not humans. Yet. Not yet. But it won't. It won't ever because as human beings, we walk around with our four bodies. We walk around with our physical body, our emotional body, our spiritual body, mm -hmm. and our energetic body. And when you and I are sitting next to each other, whether we're, we're oh, physically yeah. touching or not, there is an energetic connection yeah. that happens. You're sitting on a plane next to somebody, you're actually going to pick up their energy. And sometimes I recommend you get off a plane <laughs> and wipe it off, man. You got to wipe off that person's yeah. energy Shake sometimes. It Shake it off, <laughs> wipe it right. off, seriously. It's yeah. important. But well, I think, you know, uh, funny that we're talking about introverts and extroverts. And yep. I found out, I'm pretty sure I'm, that, I'm a third option. Do you know about the third option? And this is not a joke. It's a real thing. Are you an ambivert? Yes. Ha! Ah. You got it. Which means I get all my energy from people, but I don't like them. I don't That's like hilarious. the people. I don't look forward to being in crowds. I, I, I dread being in front of people or around people or in really? groups. Really? And you're so good at it, Until Jeremy. I get there. Okay, Okay. so the, the dread comes in the before, yeah. not in the doing. Right, but if I didn't go, I mm -hmm. would just be a zombie. I'd be a vegetable. Right. But when I get there, I get all my energy. I get my joy. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm on. I, I get, but I don't look forward to it. And I wow. still feel uncomfortable in those moments. I don't feel like I ever fit in, in, in any sort of click. I'm always, like, looking for my tribe. Very hard to find. You know, uh, it's just that's an. I think that's what an ambivert. Yeah, ambivert that's is. interesting. Yeah, yeah very. See, 
I'm an extrovert. I get energy from being around people. I get the energy. COVID almost killed me. Oh, yeah. COVID almost knocked me out because I'm not married, mm-hmm. right? So I live by myself with my golden retriever much of the time. I had a couple of people I could have loaned you, too. I, you know, <laughs> I, I could have borrowed them, right? Because <laughs> it was really hard not having meetings to go to and, and clients to go be in front of and, yeah. and clients to go and consult with. I mean, I do a lot of business consulting now. Mm-hmm. And to not have those groups in person, sure, I set up a studio, not as nice as this one at all, but I set up a studio in my downstairs, yeah. in my house. And so I would have these, you know, do Zoom calls all the time and have meetings with people. It is so not the same being an extrovert to not have yeah. the energy of the people in the room. It was, <laughs> it was tough. It was really, I don't know how you all feel, but it was tough. Yeah, we had a, it, it was hard. Our, our whole thing was just the dynamics change. We were all stuck together because I wasn't around my children that much. They were older, and they traveled. I traveled so much, and on the weekends, they were just gone. I was home. So they had a meeting about three weeks into it, a family meeting, and I said, uh, you know, we don't work for you. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, duh. And they said, then stop telling us what to do. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I said, oh. Oh, my God, that is funny. That is really Yeah, I actually got really funny. mad, and I left the house, found a, ho- a hotel that would take me, and I spent the night in a hotel that night. Wow. Then I went back home, went into a corner, built a teepee, out of the sound blankets that are behind the screen screen, literally, <laughs> and I wrote a book. <laughs> and I did a voiceover on the book, I did the voice book, I just barricaded myself in the corner and wrote my book, Labor to Leadership. That's how I wrote that book. That's, I you, told you these guys were coming around. I know, we have, we have, um, I, I, it's <laughs> but funny. But it's not so it, bad, I can, so in, No, 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 I so in it. my brain, what I what I hear is there's somebody outside, oh, they must be snow blowing, oh. but we're in Florida, <laughs> my brain. Yeah. Okay, so you know we had that horrible storm in Denver last week. Mm. I mean, there was serious snow blowing happening at my house last week. It was yeah. it was intense. I had 16 inches of snow at my house. The day after, it was the mid 30s, so it was slushy. The day oh, after that, no. I was down to Couldn't about three or four it. inches. No, it was it was like nothing. It went away so it went away so fast. Can you hear <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh, he's, he's do, working he's it. He's doing a good job, though. God he bless is. Him. Hey, we own a landscaping company, so I'm not going to begrudge anyone out there. Wait, you own a landscaping company, and your company doesn't take care of where your office is? I think it's no, time to have a negotiation. That's a Garrett issue. Garrett's head of sales. I'm just uh, the, the money guy. Okay. But uh, Well, see, I know who to hang out with. That bastard's guy. doing good, though. He's on track for a million dollars this year revenue. He's this tw- is your kid. 22 years old. Yeah, this is his, our third year in business. You know, that's why I should have had kids. It never yes. occurred to me that my kid could make a million dollars a year. It is. It's nice, especially when I was the money man, I get 10% of gross. So it's a nice little... Uh, Very it's nice. nice. It's nice. Yes, that's all. Ch- it's nice. child labor. I'm a fan. Go ahead. Yeah. Moving on. Hey, and now you can keep your children in a freezer, so life is good. Well, uh, kids are <laughs> considered... They, they just ident- I just identify them as adults <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Yeah, but do they identify as an adult? No, they identify as a leaf blower. <laughs> as a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, that would be funny if that was Garrett's crew out there. And I'm that like, would be you great. You can't, 2.30 to right. 3, that's go right. do something else. Take five. Daddy's doing live television. You that's stop. okay, but I like that. That's why I like live. As yes. a professional speaker, we have to be ready for anything. And you know how many people would be doing this and not acknowledge that? You know, that would be ridiculous. Oh, it's, and that's what professional no. speakers do. A waiter drops a plate, uh, a tray of glasses off the back. You applaud them, and then you, <laughs> you say, hey, you know, uh, when you get that thing in your paycheck that says China, it's not a free paid vacation next year. It's the bill you're paying for those glasses you just broke. That's funny. Yeah. I usually say, just put those anywhere. <laughs> that's, one of my favorite that's cute. Go to. I like uh, that. But yeah, I mean, that's what I like to live. Uh, uh, I think only a few times. This thing is notorious for the audio not working, so I, I keep a keen eye right here. Okay. Look green. But many, many, many times, <laughs> more than more than once, I've been 10 minutes into a really good dialogue. I've written it out. Right. I mean, I've prepped. You mean you prepare for this? Not today, so but So I was going to say, you know what, I show up and I'm not worth preparing for? Hey, because cheer I, me. Because I don't do fake. Oh, okay. And this is, yeah, this is real. But then all of a sudden, you're not a woman. I people, do fake all the time. <laughs> people, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> people would uh, put out here the chat. Can't hear you. Like my mother, I can't hear you. There it says my mother. Speak of the. Hi, mom. I 
have not met your mom. Speak of the Hi, devil. Mom. And now you know my nickname. Wow. How about everyone else here? No one can see Very that Very cool. Hey, Ma. Hi, Mom. Biggest fan. Well, does, is your mom here, or is she no, somewhere else in the country? she's in uh, Talladega, Alabama, or, or near. Well, if your mom was here, we could get your mom together with my mom, and th we could all go out for a cocktail, because yeah. <laughs> I could use one, and so could my mom. Yeah, <laughs> my mom. My, I think me and my mother drank all of ours already. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're both off the wagon, I think. Or on the wagon, I forget. I I, I yeah. mean, if there's a wagon, I need a cocktail. Yeah, I have right. no idea if it's on the wagon. I think that was a Seinfeld have... episode, by the way. Is it off the wagon or on the wagon? <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. But that's yeah. So anyway, so the, uh, but I would go. All right, now I got to start over. So you turn the volume on. But the problem is that it's five minutes in, right? Right. Right. Eleven minutes in. Before now, I know. Yeah. And it's like nobody's gonna watch. This going forward, right? To get to the part where I figured that's out right. how to, so, so you I just edit. go. Do you I, edit this after? No. That's oh, this is it. uneditable. Mm, it's editable, but Ooh. I don't edit it. You mean I can say all kinds of things and they're going to stay? Oh, there I've forever? had I've had people come on here because I have a link to where I can bring people on here, and they mm -hmm. put total African gay porn, like chunk, like chunka chunka, paint at white porn, the best money shots. I'm going holy moly! By the time you exit out of it. Uh, Christy was on with me, and she was dying. <laughs> was I'm like, where are you people now? <laughs> where well, are you? Well, let me tell you, I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. Uh, you don't let one. it. You don't let it just happen. Anymore. Well, I had to go and then obviously delete all those episodes. Well, from, yeah. well, the episode from all the channels. I get because, that. Because uh, that. Wait, what do you was, mean all the channels? Where are we? We are on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, X, our Twitch, LinkedIn, and uh, Insta? that's it. Insta doesn't. It's a, I, I would need another person to go live in <laughs> Instagram simultaneously. <laughs> okay. I don't do simultaneous. Yeah. Yeah. You I, don't? No. Poor Christy. <laughs> Poor Christy. Anyway. Right. <laughs> I, I, I said it on the T, you knocked it out. Hey, you know, if it's going to be there, I got to play with it. All yeah. right. So how can we help? How can we help you all? What can I, what can we share with you? Well, I let's mean, talk about what you're going to do tonight. So okay. the speakers tonight are going to, we're talking about presentation skills. And I have a stage, you can't see it. Um, it's a green screen stage yeah. with the lights and the microphone and the cameras. And I want to put them on the spot. Good. So they're going to be up here on the stage. We're going to be there with the other speakers and we're going to have our Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul faces on. Okay, I get to be Paula, you get to be Simon, or do we switch it? I think switch. Okay, yeah, good. Then go I, get, oh, I get to be Simon. I All like right. your, uh, how you do, but why don't you tell me, how do you okay, so preface when I, yeah. giving somebody feedback? When I give feedback, I like so I've actually done this, you know, I've helped a lot of friends, I've helped a lot of speakers academies, and a lot of friends who want to be professional speakers, because I did live, tele something you should know about me, I did live television for 18 oh, yeah. years. How about... I mean, no, no introduction. No introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, this is just some we chick can, that you found, you, go, you know. There just, she is. There I am. Oh, that is a Miss terrible America. picture. Let's yeah, but Carolyn. there's me. Okay, so there's all the fun things about me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> oh, so I, I spent 18 years live on the Home Shopping Network. I have a BFA in theater. And a BFF in me. And a, oh, oh, I have a BFF <laughs> and a BFA, and I am a CSP and a CRP. And so I know CPR. if you want, and you know CPR, I mean, we're so meant for we, <laughs> all of these acronyms. If you want to know what any of them are, send me an email at carolyn at carolynstrauss.com and and then ask me something interesting. But um, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. So I I've, I I actually taught. Um, do you remember a modeling school back in the '80s and '90s called John Robert Powers? Uh, it maybe, was a national no. modeling school, well, I created their plus size modeling program. The wow. entire curriculum, I wrote it, I designed it, I sold it to them for a couple hundred dollars because I was not that, seriously, mm. I created the program for the whole national wow. thing. But anyway, I would go and I would judge modeling contests mm -hmm. for them. In fact, that brought me to judging the Miss USA pageant. I was a judge for the That's Miss USA pageant back in the... Late 90s, I think. Anyway, so, and, and it's amazing, right? Because I'm only, I'm only at least 49 years old. So if anybody asks, that's how old I am. <laughs> but when I give, there you go. That was me emceeing a huge conference um, in the end of 2022. And anyway, so, so the, when I give feedback to people, I can be brutal. Mm -hmm. And I can be really sweet. 
because I have those different voices in my head. So what I, I will ask tonight is I will say, how do you want your feedback? Do you want it mild, medium, or spicy? Mm. Spicy hurts a little bit, <laughs> and mild would be just fine. But, you but want you're still giving them usable. Even Absolutely, mild, mild yeah. medium, or spicy. But mild is is coming from you know, Jeremy. That was nice. I like the red. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. The handkerchief should be at a point. Right. It should be this way mm. instead of this way. You know, that's kind of there. You go. Well, listen. If There's it's not at a right mild. angle, it's at a wrong angle. Oh yeah. wow! <laughs> oh, I love OCD. And um, I and then there's <laughs> CDO. CDO. The letters in the right goddamn order. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> And I have OCD over controlling disorder. Okay. I like to control everything. That's <laughs> yeah. what makes me a good. But this a good is, I'm going to start doing this from now on. Okay. Just there you go. Roll the See? Carolyn. See? Much better. So, yeah, Thank medium. You. So, mild, you. So, and, and mild is just really sweet. Like, you know what? That was really good. You might want to think about positioning your body, you know, when you go from this, oh, this is going to the future. Right. Okay, this is going to the past. It's mm. counterintuitive for us ah. as speakers, but this takes them into the future. Doesn't feel right that's to me, cool. feels right to the people who are right. watching. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that's mild. Medium is, okay, that's good. Your pants don't fit and your glasses don't show up and it you're your kind face of, look dumb. yeah, so I need I need something or interesting it's, it's like to look at. You can't at. wear a glass like that when you have lights the in front of you. Because we can't see your eyes, right. right. And then spicy is, oh, honey, that, oh, hi, Mike Lands. Um, I don't know who you are, but oh, hi, Mike. Oh, Mike Lands the guy. Um, but if, 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 we, if you want spicy, it's, you know what? Nobody's gonna pay for that content. I'm sorry you went through that as a child. Yeah. I'm sorry it was traumatic. How does that help my audience? If I'm a meeting planner, how right. does it help my audience make, here's what everybody wants. They want more money, they want more time, they want more status, or they want more love. Yeah. So right. the question when you're speaking is, how does what I'm giving you give you more time, more money, more status, or more love? And if you can do that with your audience, you'll get paid as a speaker. And if you want to do therapy, you know what? Hire a therapist. Hire oh, a coach from Coaching <laughs> Done Better, and they can probably help you through we that. Have but do a bunch not of do thera that. Therapeutic yeah. uh, coaches. Don't on do it too. on stage, though. Carly Hill. Shout out to Carly Hill and her Hi, Carly. crew. Uh, yeah. So Mike Lands. Uh, Lands asked a great question. I mean, he obviously is finding value in this. He Aww, wants to know will you. this be recorded? So it live stream doesn't necessarily get recorded. It goes up on YouTube and LinkedIn and wherever you're seeing this. It will just always be there. Right. So yes, the so then, re yeah. uh, right as soon as we're done, the replay is there. Oh man, so I have to be really careful what I say. You know, you well, didn't prepare me is, for this, Jeremy. It is out there. And once okay. it's out there, it's out once there. Once it's out there, that's now, right. They, Everything is recorded nowadays, what people. Cool be about really Mike careful. Lands. So Mike. Mike, you, you see this? Yeah. All right. Do you know when you do this, that happens? You okay. know when it, uh, mm -hmm. he did that. He created that. He invented that. <laughs> Mike, you're somebody that I want to get to know. Yeah. That is that super cool? cool. The rotation. The rotation. Mike created rotation. Yeah. Well, I thought God created that when the earth happened. Anyway, that's not Mike, just so creation. type in. Oh, okay. Yeah. As opposed to rotation? Right. Rotation is what you ask people to do when they piss you off. <laughs> Sit <rotate>. on it <laughs> and rotate. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is why Mike, we don't get together more than Right, right. Year. So, Mike, send me your questions. Let me help. I mean, if there's anything I can do to he's support a great, you he's, he's in my Toastmasters, speaking professionally, Toastmasters. Okay. Toastmasters and, is fantastic. If you want feedback immediately on yeah. five minutes, it's five minutes of content you get well, to do? Well, we are How a bit different. We're yeah. speaking professional, so it's only aspiring or professional speakers. Okay. We don't follow hardly any of the rules. Okay. And, yes, about five to seven minutes. Yeah. We go, we go into breakout rooms, so you get to speak. We only meet once a month virtually, so everyone gets to have their time. And if you don't have a speech, then we go, what, what do you have having a problem with today? Nice. What do you want to get better on today? And we just spend their seven to nine minutes or whatever on their issues. So we have a pretty cool little group. You can but. never get too good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always, I mean, I've been doing, I've been making a living as a professional speaker since my 20s, and like I said, I'm at least 49 years old. Ah. I've been making, seriously, making a living in front of audiences since yeah. since your wife was born, right? <laughs> so, so I think it's really, 
important to keep getting better. I mean, I I just got my CRP, my Certified Reinvention Practitioner. I am one of 200 crazy people on the planet, and on the planet, I mean, because my yeah. cohort was people from Germany and South Africa. I am one of 200 people on the planet who understand the speed of disruption, the speed of change in the marketplace, and how I can help support companies move forward in the disruptions that are about to come. And mm. I actually, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I know how to figure out what to do. Mm. So by the way, any consultant <laughs> you ever hire now, nuanced. any any yeah. speaker, any consultant you hire that says, I know the answer, fire them immediately. Because right now there are no answers. Yeah, All okay. there are now are what are the right questions, like we started talking about earlier, yeah. What are the right questions, and do they have the resources to pull from to help you find the answer for you? So do you t kind of do a trans transmission or transformation from a reactive type of situation to becoming more proactive with seeing these disruptions and putting yourself in a place to make that change before the disruption happens, yes. ready for it? There are three parts of reinvention. There are three things you can do. You can anticipate it then you can design it, and then you can implement it. Okay. It's, a, it's a Venn diagram. Anticipate, design, and implement. And I have tools, skills, and thoughts on how, and I've learned how to do this. I studied for six months. Um, and I'm still studying with them, by the way. There's never an end to learning. I mean, I have a yeah. call every Monday for a couple of hours, and if I can't make the call because I'm on stage, then I, I watch it in the replay, mm -hmm. but it's anticipate change, design change, and implement change. And if you miss one of those pieces, you will not be successful. It is, it is shocking. Because Do you know that if you don't read, is change, is change. Yeah. and it's more and more and more now. And if you don't change something in your business, if you're a speaker and you're doing the same speech that you were doing three years ago, you're done. It's over. Stop it. Seriously, so I mean, what we're doing today, what Jeremy and I are gonna do in his beautiful studio, so if you're a speaker and a coach and you wanna like have a beautiful space to, to record some stuff, when we're done here, I've got three different outfits with me, we'll start with this one, but three different outfits also, change of clothes, I am gonna re-record the yes. pieces on my website <laughs> underneath the descriptions of my programs, I'm gonna re-record the videos because I recorded those four years ago and what I talked about four years ago and mm -hmm. what I what I helped my audiences with four years ago is not what so they need So updating the content is easy, but doing the, the recordings and that's the preambles, right. That that's was, a lot that's of work, what, and yes, that's why I, yeah. that's why Jeremy said, "Come help me, you know, come come do the presentation skills part of this course Quid that I'm teaching." Pro, pro, and I Clarice. said, "Yes, there you go." Quid yeah, pro, pro. yeah, mine never <laughs> stops. You owe me forever. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but that's okay. That's what friends are we for. We do. Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, that's an interesting thing that changed thing, and because every industry, uh, every kind industry. of the ones that do co cope with that the best, tend to outpace. Their competitors, right? If it's okay, so it's 2024. The speed of change is that things will be radically different in six years. If you don't start reinventing and reimagining what your business is going to look like in three years now, you will not be in business in yeah. 2030. Especially if you're in, if there's any tech. Yeah. At oh, all text in, in every your, six to nine months. Yeah, yeah. it's a so much. I much mean, seriously, more. think about nine months ago. Nine months ago, we didn't have Chat GPT and Dolly and and Copilot on my phone. <laughs> I just showed up. I don't. I didn't download it. It didn't. I didn't ask for it. Literally it's on really my phone. Crazy. I have AI that says, "Ask me anything," and I'm like, "Can I have the lottery <laughs> numbers for tomorrow night?" And it said, "I don't have those." I'm like, "Then what good are you?" I mean, if you can't help me, you say you can help. If you can't help, you know, guy. We have a common name, Ed Rigsby. Yes, we good used friend. To, we, before ChatGPT, between Ed and I, we knew everything. Literally yes. to know. If you need anything, ask me, quite, ask me anything. That's right. Ask me for the lottery number. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Oh, Ed knows uh, that one. But ask oh, me okay. something else. Right? Ed knows right. that one. Ask me something else. Right. My uncle told me that when I was in third grade. That's I, funny. I believed him. <laughs> I love that. Your family seems so cool. Is it your mom's brother? Your dad's it brother. was my mother's brother. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, brothers. Rebecca's brother. He's dead. Um, well, but then, <laughs> hi, Rebecca's brother. I'll say hi. Yeah, yeah. he's around somewhere. Yeah. Probably pulling, the, asking God to pull his finger. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> or the devil, one of them. He's definitely doing that. Either Uncle, way, it works. Uncle Mike, yeah. Yeah. 
He's in my speech, actually. Uh, one of the speeches, you know. Are um, you going to get up tonight? Do I get to give you? are going to start. No. Do I get to give you spicy? Uh, maybe I will. Maybe you will. Sure. Yeah, because I, I haven't heard you speak in a while. I mean, I've heard you speak, but yeah. I haven't heard you present your content No, no I've, I've totally redone it, so it's all brand right? new. It's Thank God, new. right? That's what I'm it's saying. New, yeah, exactly. All of my programs. So in my program where I learned about reinvention, I thought I've got to walk my talk. Right? So I looked at all of my programs and I have reinvented all of them because mm -hmm. what applied to people four years ago, it's still nice to have, but it's not necessary. Yeah. And now well, I've the, added- The difference is not the, is not the emotional, the heart stuff. That will never that's change. That's still, yeah, we still but have it's, people it's having- But it's the takeaway and implementations yeah. Yeah. that are different. Yeah. What am I gonna do today when I leave here? That's Tomorrow right. when I get to my- you know, my office, office, my my phone, that whatever it is, everything changes. It so, really has. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are you know tried and true. I mean, I think there are certain people who have those signature speeches or the mm -hmm. the purely motivational right. speaker that goes out there. Maybe can have the same speech. The I call them the exalted, the celebrities. Those yeah, the celebrity are, speakers. Yeah, sure. those things won't change. But for us, the people who actually are in the grind, in the foxhole, giving content, that's. People are going to be changing their business and lives and families, relationships yes. with. You need to stand out, and yeah. so how much how, how much more will you stand out if you're talking about these newer things? Yes, it it may not. It okay. You you don't have to change the emotional. Um, maybe the emotional component mm -hmm. of your of your speech, but you have to change a the delivery because people listen differently than they did oh, five years ago. We've got much shorter, shorter sound bites. Yeah. So what's your quick sound bite? What's your sound bite that goes, okay, here is the sound bite, and then um, give them something to do with it. How much time are you giving them to listen to it or come back to whatever thoughts yeah. they're having? Because pulling people back into the room is really hard. It is, yeah, and I'm in Craig Valentine's little cohort. I don't know if you know Craig. He's amazing. I do. How do I know Craig? He's from he's the lineage with, uh, um, oh, I gotta be hungry. What's uh? Don't know. Hungry guy. Hungry. Okay. Hungry hippo guy. No. Oh, okay. They, um, you know, you know. God, okay. my, my brain That's is. That's all right. Just, That's all right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna did go Mike need something? He did. While you're thinking. Yeah. Of, uh, I'm thinking. While of you're that. thinking about that, let's see what Mike needed. I'm interested in using improv to facilitate workshops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been doing improv for several years. I think it'd be great to use as a basis for workshops. Oh my gosh, Mike. One of the things that I require of speakers that are gonna get really good, like that become CSPs and stuff, is that they take a damn acting class. If you can't take an acting class, if you can't yes and, if you can't turn around when the snow blowing is happening in Florida outside and you can't react to that, you have got, you've, you've got to be able to, thanks Mike, Les Brown, you're absolutely right. Um, but seriously, <laughs> I think improv is absolutely huge, and I think I think being a tree. I, look, I have a I have a BFA in theater, right? So I studied. I did improv with Chicago City Limits, mm. CCL, in New York City in the late '80s when I was an actor in New York. Right. So improv I, is huge, especially in workshops, like you said. Right. It's in, a little different uh, uh, in, in a on, keynote. In a keynote. Right. Because it, it's a, although my keynote is interactive, I do not talk. I'm doing a keynote in Chicago in July, a big one. Well, it's harder to talk from this stage. Uh, interact. <laughs> right. Right. It's very it hard to interact from that stage than it is I, I know, I know, where you're on the ground and tables are rounds. And, That's true. You, know, you can walk out. And, and rounds I hate. If you're a meeting if, especially planner, if, you're eating. if you're a meeting Ooh, planner and you're out there and you have rounds, first of all, you're taking up a whole lot of real estate with no viable space. Yeah. So here's what I recommend. You want to give people <laughs> tables? Do V's, do the long tables with a bunch of chairs at them and set them up in a V shape so people at the front tables can turn around and talk to the tables behind them. You can yeah. still get all of the interaction that yeah. you want. You can't talk to somebody from across an I eight think foot I, I th table. I it's I say horrible. no to speaking during meal times. Yes. I, got, I don't need it. And no thank you. Yeah. I'm not gonna do my any speech in front of clinking, clinking, eating, eating, drinking, talking. 
It's the, the worst. Unless you the walk worst around spots. and have people describe what they're Ugh. eating. No, so you could see, I mean, there's ways to make stuff fun, right? I could, yeah. I could make anything fun, but yes, well, I have Mike, misophonia please, please, too on please. top of that. You have what? Misophonia. That's a real thing. What, what, what? You have a lot of syndromes. Yeah, what is this syndrome? Up. Misophonia is the... You're it, afraid it, of miso soup? No. It's like I, uh, <laughs> certain noises send you into a rage. And for me, my sister's deaf. I'm, so, so when oh. she was very young, when I was very young, she, she would eat, it would, you know, make these noises. I mean, she's a baby, you know? Right. She didn't hear herself. Right. And so from a very young age... When I hear people eating to now, to this day, my family does it on purpose just to piss me oh, off. Oh, I'm going go to go get some bubble gum. I'm going to go get some bubble gum, and next time I'm or, here with you, babe. Or like when people are okay. opening a bag of chips, right, and a trickle noise. Uh, but one of the things is the, cr the clinking of the utensils, like Blue Bloods. I can't watch any dinner scene on Blue Bloods. Like, I got to push mute, and then I just read the closed caption. I love your wife more and more every <laughs> time like I hang person. out with you. I'm like, bless her heart. Anyway, Mike, thank you. So I think using a partner is great. I think, um, <laughs> look, I think, I don't know. I mean, it depends upon what result you're trying to create. It depends upon how much time you have with people yeah. because you want it to be more about them than you it do. is about you. Well, they're going to remember it more. They are going to remember it if they've had the experience of it. Yeah. I have a th I use a thing. Our friend Amy Clymer, you know mm -hmm. Amy? Climber she cards. has Clymer cards, which yeah. are incredible interactive. If you're going into, let's say, a half-day workshop, Mike, if you're going to do a half-day workshop, a well, really fun thing to do is to start with Clymer cards and have everybody pick a card that represents how they're feeling that day and it gets everybody to Starts interact in a way that's not... And it gets them creative. It does. Yeah. It does. It and then them. what I love to do yeah. is at the end, have them pick another card and talk about how far they've come. Mm. And so I've done this in four-hour workshops with executives and CEOs. It is really yeah. fun. And I was a big management team. I just did 32 people and it worked out really well. I got the new Climber cards too. So Amy has the Oh, ones. nice. I didn't so know I love she had new ones coming out. Yeah, she's yes, part Amy of uh, Carolinas, I think. Uh, yeah, NSA she's Carolinas. fantastic. I love her a lot. Yep, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, so what's uh, what's what's next for you? What's What are you looking at? I know we're going to South America. Going to I mean, South, South Africa. South, I'm going to South, South Africa. South I'm going Africa. to the other side of the planet. Got to know how to say it, too, South yeah. Africa. Okay, so I've actually shifted my business model okay. is is what's, what's different for me. It used to be 60% um, of my income was from keynotes. 25% was from um, emceeing, mm -hmm. and 15% it was from coaching and consulting. I don't do coaching anymore. Okay. I don't do one-on-one. -on -one I know I'm here with coaching done better. Sorry, honey. But I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I don't get that energy and joy from it. I do consulting and yeah. advising with teams, like with a big sales team. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, I've got a whole dollars per minute program based on selling $160 million worth of clothes on the Home Shopping Network, right? right? If I can sell when I'm not in the room and you're not with me, easy. So it's, um, it's I would love now for it to be about 30% consulting, 20% um um, emceeing and 50% keynoting and then working mm -hmm. with companies. Yeah, that's why I like this industry because you can be keynoting and yep. then doing workshops, consulting, yep. facilitations. Uh, you know, I have the platform, so I'm not, I'm coaching a little bit. Yeah. I, I kind of stick to the speaker world, but the platform itself is the, to serve a larger purpose. And whenever I go speak, it's like, how do I? It's kind of marrying your life story, my business acumen, yes. and this new platform. And that's the challenge. And that's why I had to rewrite everything. And the <laughs> other challenge is, what did I just hear the other day about you have to, re you have to reintroduce yourself to people? One of the reasons I wanted to be here Maybe with you to is this is, too. yeah, oh yeah, if you've changed so much, like yeah. a year ago, I didn't even know anything about reinvention or becoming a reinvention practitioner, right? Five years ago when I got my CSP, reinvention. it's reinvention. Practitioner. I'm a re I'm certified reinvention practitioner. It's really cool. Yeah. This is, I have learned stuff and have you ever learned something that actually changes the way you think and see the world? That's I no longer, like disruption happens, right? Really quick story, two of my close friends, family members, dropped dead in the past month. Hmm. 
My friend Kathy, Kath, I love you in Colorado. <laughs> Kathy, who I love, um, her son, 54 years old, was snorkeling in Key West with his wife. He got disoriented off the boat. They pulled him back on. He had a heart attack and died on the boat. Another one of one of my be my best friend, Claire. She, her brother, was fine in the morning, like four Saturdays ago, and he came in and his wife found him dead of a heart attack, 64 years wow. old. Disruptions are happening everywhere. Personal, yeah. emotional, economic, um, psychic. My power went out four days ago, right? So, I mean, disruptions are happening everywhere. So in terms of my friends who I love so much, losing people that I know and love, I think we've got to live every day as if it really matters. Yeah. I think that we um, have to look at little disruptions, like you're out of power for four hours. I didn't realize how much I depended on power. <laughs> my, I had not turned on my fireplace. How many times do you, like, yeah, go turn right. someone on Right, so I'm like, I can, I, okay, I have crackers, so I'll have some crackers for lunch, right? I mean, not that that's <laughs> well, a yeah, deal, like but. The, it's not working, so but, I'll just microwave this. Oh, right. that's not working either. Exactly, and I can't take a shower because the hot water heater isn't working. <laughs> I can't turn on my fireplace, a gas fire place because the gas would work but the, the electric to turn it on won't funny. work and I'm sure that there's a way to light the pilot but I'm not oh, gonna not gonna mess with that. <laughs> not messing with that so seriously disruptions are constant yeah. and everywhere we had when we started this podcast this this show we had a disruption with the gardeners. I mean, it's 100% constant. So my threat, my brain is always thinking now, next step, okay, how do we mitigate for this or how do we optimize this? Yes. So I'm literally And then there's the, there's, the co there's the cost versus, you know, implementation. Yes. The, the return on investment and uh, a tipping point, uh, diminishing returns and all that stuff to consider, but that's part of your process, I'm sure. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. This is, it's it's a different world we're living in, kids. So go have some fun. and. My <laughs> you're funny. You are funny. He does, but at least yeah. he's got a mom who loves him and a wife who puts up with him. Yeah. I cannot wait to give and your kids wife a kids who aren't that, that similar. Yeah, they, who are making enough money that you don't care <laughs> how they treat you. It's great. Right. As long <laughs> anyway. as they keep doing it later when I can't make money. Exactly. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to continue doing this, but just without you guys, because <laughs> this is what uh, we do. But uh, we'll be here uh, tonight. If you are in the program, we will see you here tonight at 7 o'clock, second to last uh, class, the yeah. penultimate class. I like using $5 call. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, gonna right. gonna to make I'm gonna make you good because um, I don't mess around. If I'm no. going to come all the way here from Colorado, yeah. I'm going to make sure it's Get good. Get your face on. So we have the next round. It's not – people have been asking me about masterminds. When am I going to do another one? And I've got a new offering coming out. It's called the Successful Speaker Series. I know there's a book. I'm, I don't care. You can't copyright a title. That's right. I love the name of it, Successful Speaker. And what we're going to do is it's going to be just an ongoing, not a mastermind. It's uh, We're going to have 20 members. Okay. Uh, two calls, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday. Tuesdays is topical. Yeah. Very, very deep dive on a very specific thing in the speaking business. All right. Thursdays is Ask Us Anything open. So we'll hit every member. We'll be able to have a, a voice and we'll touch it. And every member has a 45-minute one-to-one phone call once a month with me. Nice. So that's the program I'm putting together. Of course, there's going to be an elevated program where they get me weekly if they'd like. That's another level, but we're going to just— But you can't just... eat while you're coaching with him because it'll upset him. Oh, I will hang the— Yeah. <laughs> that's disconnect. <laughs> Immediate disconnect. Uh, oh, she's doing— this. Oh my yeah. gosh. Aww. I don't think you're doing it right, Ma. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my God, but we got to introduce her to my we'll mother. <laughs> oh, we have to. It's, it's so funny. All right. So All right. that's it. And uh, in a so nutshell. So sign up to play with him. This is a really smart. He's, he's my friend. He's an advisor to me. He's um, one of my favorite people. And, um, and now he's going to work for me for the next few hours, kids. So this will be. We fun. are. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. <laughs> And we, we're going to be doing some yeah. work, some runway work, some, some fun work. work. Yep. Yeah. And that's it. That's Take it. care.